a one trip wonder. I wonder how I'm going to get in this door. Oh! Honey, we need a better solution. Oh, gosh, you've got to fix that handle. Have you ever caught your wife laying on the floor like this? She wouldn't admit to it. You know that and I know that. So how can you find a way to help them out? Even me sometimes. I'm tall. I don't have a problem. But every time you come up to the door, everybody has those four steps lately, as you know. So you got to go up, go back down, go up, go back down. Isn't that annoying? Well, let me bring you this to you. This week we read the Pennsylvania show in Hershey. I told the wife, I says, I need this right away. This was phenomenal. It's called a latch extender, and it's for more riding. So here's the gizmo. Gives you an idea a little bit of what it is. I'll show you what tool we need to tend to this and show you how to install it. So come up here. I'll show you what I need in order to be able to fix this. So in this bag came this handle, which is, you kind of saw quickly, the, the device on here that will help us out. You'll see when it's done, it's, it's really neat. A little bag with three bolts and nut. Really simple. You'll need two load keys. Uh, one is 1.8 and the other one is 5.30 seconds. So this one is for the bolt. This one is for this little nubby here that you'll have to insert in there and then tighten it. That's going to go in your handle. I'll show you this one install. You'll need a wrench 7.16 for the nuts that go at the end of the bolt. And in here, you're going to have a drill. And that's about it. A uh, quarter inch, quarter inch bit that I'll use on my drill, a pencil, and a tape for people who who follows instruction. I, I don't, but in the instruction you should have a tape. And I'll show you why on on my install. I can't really go with the tape because it's not kosher from the typical handle you have there. We already have a one of those keyless lock. So it's a little bit different, the, the height, and I'll show you this in a second. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to hook it up to the handle and print what I'm going to have to drill those holes for this little plate. So let's go here, pencil, this handle. I'm going to show you how, how it works, that little Allen key. If I go up here, you typically, guys, as you see, that's an RV lock. I'm not paid by them. I just happen to love this. I love how it's installed. I love how it works. And you people, everybody who doesn't have an RV lock, come up here, honey. So you're gonna see this would typically be see the width of this. And ours, this is what you guys have. This is what happens when you have an RV lock. You're a little bit thicker here. So that's why I'm gonna show you why we don't really need the tape measure because we won't have a choice. So in the RV lock, what I will do, I'll slip this right here over that O, and I'll just tighten this up. I'll just tighten this up a little bit, so kind of have a kind of have a grab on this. I'll take my pencil and I'll I'll, I'll dry fit it. So I'm gonna see if I can if I held this. And I can actually open my door, so it could stay there. So that should be about good, don't you think? Yep. See if you leave, if you read the instruction, the instruction is going to say from here to here five and three quarter. But since I'm higher here, I, I, I can't follow this measurement, or else it's going to be like this, and it's going to be the purpose. It's not even going to work out. So you can eye it. That's what I did. I mean, I'm going to go. This is straight. It looks you know, perpendicular with this. So I'm gonna do this with my pencil. I'm gonna do this. And I'll give you a trick because I didn't have any masking tape. What I typically do, I would have put masking tape in the back. So when you use your pencil, it's actually marking and it's kind of easier and leaves a mark there. So let me just unscrew this. And I'll actually take my drill, go right through that. Take my little seal and my little bolt that I have here, my Allen key. So here's my next step. Let's drill those holes.
If you like our video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we have a new video. Please encourage us. Click on it. It's free. So as you can see, this is really frail. It's, it's, uh, it's Asdale. You go through it and then inside it's just plastic. So there's nothing in there except styrofoam. So as you may have seen, I took the door apart, meaning the screen door, because for every numb nut in there that do, does this and goes right through, you're going to have a surprise. You're going to have three holes in your screen door inside. So just keep that in mind. So this is always hooked up to it. Do this and just give yourself a chance to go through it. So I'm going to lay this in there. I'm not going to tighten up. I'm not going to tighten up this end now because I want to align it with this. So in here, I've got a nice little plate. That go, and that's going to go right on the other side, because on the other side, it's plastic. Uh, do I want those rubber here or on the other side? Yeah. I should probably put them on this side. There's three little rubber. For people who watch instruction, So you put the nuts in the inside. That's where your 716 wrench will come handy. You just put that in there. I think that's the, whatever, it's the big one, the 532 I think it is. So tell me if I'm in the way, huh? She asked me earlier, she says, you want me to stop hyperlapse? I said, nope. I'm going to be swearing at this, so I don't want nobody to hear me. Typical guy thing when it doesn't work. This backing on this front plate is kind of nice because there's rubber in the back of this. So it actually seals the whole thing. I thought it was pretty cool. The manufacturing is nice. It's well made. It's tricky for the inside because it's really easy to go through. That's why you got two metal plates. Uh, but the, the, the problem is, it's hard to line yourself up because it's too soft material. So you kind of have to be perfectly in line, you know what I mean? So you tight this up, you're happy, she's happy. So you just come back up here, you tighten this up, and now we'll have Laurel tested it without luggage. And now here's what you have. So Laurel, try it out. There's a couple of things I want to address here because once you install this, you've got two issues you've got to keep in mind here. This will no longer fit on the inside. So it will have to go on this side because it will be right over this, this nubby here. So it would actually push the door, you know, it would, it would push on this since the angle would be greater. So you'll just flip it on the back side. Uh, on mine it works even when I slide it is in. And, a lot of time I actually put it this side because the wind's coming this side. So, so that's one thing. The other thing is I used to have this magnet, and these are friction doors, so they'll stay open wherever you want. But now this time I don't have a friction possibility anymore. So what's going to happen is we have a lot of grandkids, and I can see they're going to snap this. And this handle, this is going to bang into my wall. So here's what I did. I created this before. I buy those uh, luggage door catch magnetic. So I take two of them. I actually take those command strip. I stick one here and I'll stick another one. When I want to install it, I stick it here. So I trim it with my scissors. So it actually sticks here like I did with this one. I used to have one on the wall. I took it out. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one and this one. This one's to the wall, this strip. We'll go to the wall, and this one is going to be stuck here. All right, so let me try to show you this. I should, maybe I should just do it, but this is what I'm going to do. And so imagine this, and imagine this. So this one will actually go.
to the wall. It's going to the wall. Now my door's coming, and there's a magnet here, and that keeps my door from opening, and it keeps my my kid from destroying my side the side wall of my my camper. And if you're com comfortable with the friction, or you have one of those tabs that that hooks up physically to the wall, well then you don't need this. Or you put a piece of styrofoam or you know something so it doesn't ding your camper. So that's the other thing they don't supply, but I'm sure it's going to come after they did a couple of them. So. Hope it helped you out, and it proves my point again. It has nothing to do about the destination. It's all about the journey.